Well, thank you very much. And it's my great honor to welcome the college football national champions to the White House, the University of Alabama Crimson Tide. Congratulations. Congratulations. To the University President, Stuart Bell, Athletic Director, Greg Byrne, Coach Nick Saban, and the extraordinary group of players. And they are extraordinary, and they're going to be very rich. They're going to be very <laughs> Gathered here, congratulations on your incredible victory. It was truly a win for the ages. I don't know if you know, but I was there. I was there. I, I got to see it. Each of you here today is here because of your grit, your drive, your dedication, and your incredible teamwork. You all worked together, inspired each other, had each other's backs, and drove yourselves onward to one of the greatest victories ever. You carry on a storied tradition of Alabama football excellence. It really is excellence. Coach, you'll have to explain that. You could sell that secret, make a lot of money. You know that. You could only sell it. Over the last several decades, America has learned — it's really, in a very big way, learned that Alabama football knows how to win and how to keep winning. They just keep winning. It also takes a great coach and a great athletic director and all of the other ingredients. But you've now claimed 26 SEC championships and 17 national championships. Five of your national championships were won under Coach Saban. Was it five or six? Six? I thought it was six. It's going to be six, right? And one at LSU. That's right. So you have six all together, huh? Wow. They shouldn't have let you go, Coach. And they're thinking about that, too. Including this year's national championship, which will go down as one of the most exciting finishes in college football history of any sport. Anyone who wants to know how Alabama does it should study Coach Saban's simple philosophy. It's called the process. Coach tells his players, don't look at the scoreboard. Don't look at any external factors. Just focus all your efforts, all your toughness, and all your discipline on executing each play, one play at a time. And by doing that, by focusing on the process, the outcome winning will take care of itself. It's a great philosophy. In the National Championship game, you stuck to the process, even when it was looking pretty tough. I was watching. I said, Coach, not looking too good. Down 13 to nothing at halftime to a great Georgia team. These champions fought back as they did all season long, and they kept fighting and fighting. Jalen Hurts displayed amazing poise and leadership. Where's Jalen? Great, great job. That was poise. Calvin Ridley torched defenses all year, becoming the only second receiver. And you're the only one in Alabama history to compile over 200 receptions for a career. 200. Where's Calvin? Hey, Calvin. Two hundred receptions. That's not bad. Damian Harris took his rightful place alongside the famed Alabama ball carriers of past years. Damian? Damian hey. Rashawn Evans and Duran Payne and the rest of the defense beat opposing offenses into submission. Now, I've watched a lot of those games. And sometimes, as Coach Saban likes to say, you flat out made them quit. They quit. We're doing that to a lot of people, too. I learned. Where's Bradley B? And Arashan and Daron. Where are you guys? Money's going to be pouring in. Look at the size of these guys. So, Bradley, great job. Offensive line kept the tide rolling downhill, and Bradley got the win of his lifetime after the big game when his girlfriend agreed to say, yes, I will marry you. 
She's still with you? <laughs> She's still there. That's good. There was one moment when it looked grim for Alabama in the title game. On the first play of overtime, Georgia sacked Tua for a big loss. Where's Tua? Where's Tua? Tua. What are you doing up there? What's he doing up there? But that was the only loss they got you for. But the Crimson Tide never gave in, never even a little bit, and uh, it just worked out. On the very next play, Tua dropped back to pass, launched the ball from near midfield. I was watching, and the entire country watched as arms lifted up. And Devante Smith caught that ball for the win. Devante. And that was an amazing win. Devante, where's Devante? What's going on over here? <laughs> Unbelievable throw and a catch. Every moment of hard work and preparation for Alabama paid off. We're proud of you. We're proud of your teammates. Each member of this incredible football program, you can all be proud of yourselves. We're proud of the way you play. We're proud of the way you represent yourselves, your university, and your state. And that is a great, great state. I know, because I won it by 32 points. <laughs> I actually think more than that, but Anyway, you know, with the press, you like to keep it low because they'll always correct you. And we're proud to once again call the University of Alabama our national champions. Thank you and roll tide. It's a, a great honor of mine to introduce a man I have a lot of respect for. Don't know him, got to know him today in the Oval Office. And you've been here six times, but it's your first time in the Oval Office. They didn't invite you, the other pre They don't invite you, see? <laughs> Trump invites you. But he is a great coach, and you know, he's a great winner. I think more than anything else, he's a great winner. Coach Nick Saban. Thank you. Thank you, Coach. You know, not many people get invited to the White House, so uh, not many people get invited to see the president and meet the president. Uh, so this is a special day for our team, uh, a team that uh, is being honored here because of their achievements in terms of winning the college football national championship, which makes me very proud. Uh, in, this season was a little bit of a metaphor of life uh, in terms of uh, the togetherness, the hard work, the perseverance that these young men sort of put together to overcome a lot of adversity uh, to create a legacy for a lifetime and a memory for a lifetime for them uh, because of what they were able to accomplish together as a team. Uh, this group of young men uh, will also uh, learn a lot of lessons, I think, that will help them be more successful in life because of the experiences they had together this year as a team. Uh, special thanks to our administration, Dr. Bell, our athletic director, Greg Byrne, uh, and all the supporters of Alabama football who make our team special. And a special thanks to President, uh, our president, to invite us here and make this a special day for us. President Trump, thank, thank you, you so much. Thank you. And because of our gratitude, our captains would like to make a presentation uh, to our president. Captains. Looks good. Now put it up. Skill player, too.